Let's demonstrate joint mobilization for the sacroiliac joint, first with a pelvic bone, PSIS, contact. On his left side, here is the left PSIS. I'm going to look to contact this by placing it in the groove between the thenar and hypothenar eminences. I'll first simply go posterior to anterior, P to A. So I'll place my right hand here. I'll support my contact. And just take a breath in, Justin. And relax and breathe out. And I just go down and repeat some oscillations. Now, if I'd like, I can go ahead and change the direction of the mobilization force to be a bit more superior, to be a bit more toward bringing the pelvic bone into an anterior tilt. In this case, since I'm going to be going from inferior to superior, I have to start more inferior to take a soft tissue pull. Until I land on the PSIS, I brace my contact. Justin, take a breath in. And breathe out and relax. And now the line of my force is a little more toward anterior tilt. If I would like, I can try to mobilize more from medial to lateral, trying to take this pelvic bone and flare it out and back, which is flaring it into medial rotation in front. I now have to contact on the PSIS on the medial side. And since I'll be going medial to lateral, I need to start my soft tissue pull from more medially to take out the slack. My elbow will be out if I'm working the same side of the body. I'm on his left side, demonstrating on his left side. Soft tissue pull, brace my contact, and now push in oscillations. Take a breath in, Justin and breathe out and I do my mobilization oscillations more laterally. I can combine all of these vector directions together to try and work in the plane of the joint. Therefore I'll look to push on the PSIS superiorly, laterally, and anteriorly. I'll have to start with the soft tissue pull back in this direction and pull the slack as I go superiorly and laterally until I land on that PSIS. Justin, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, I can perform the mobilization oscillations right along the plane of the joint. Similarly, I can work the superior aspect of the sacrum, the sacral base. I could contact in the midline on the sacral base by placing the heel of my hand here, bracing my contact, and pressing directly from posterior to anterior, in other words, toward the floor. Justin, take a breath in. And relax, breathe out. And I'm oscillating down, creating an anterior tilt. In other words, nutation, mobilization for the entire sacrum relative to both sacroiliac joints. I can now focus that mobilization of the sacrum to one side. So I would find the PSIS, drop medial to it, onto the sacrum, on the sacral base on this side. Because the sacrum is not very large, when I'm on one side, I probably have to change my contact from the heel of my palm to using the ulnar side of my hand, what is sometimes referred to as knife edge. I'm going to look to mobilize the sacrum along the plane of the joint. We did this similarly before with the PSIS. So I'm looking to mobilize superiorly, laterally, and anteriorly. In other words, that oblique plane direction. I start with a soft tissue pull, more inferiorly and toward the midline, and I pull up 
to get rid of the slack going superiorly and laterally until I end on the sacrum. Brace my contact. Justin, take a breath in and breathe all the way out. And I can perform the oscillations. When contacting here, I had stated we can use the ulnar side of the hand, the knife edge contact, but we can also use the pisiform if we get comfortable palpating and working with our pisiform. I've shown these with ipsilateral work. I'm on his left side, I'm mobilizing the left side PSIS or left side sacrum, or in one case I also showed midline sacrum. I could also mobilize contralaterally, standing here, working the right side joint. In this case, the advantage is that my core is more in line and I can simply work, whether it's PSIS, mobilization, or it's sacral mobilization. 